Lua structures are great. They're simple to use and they work most of the time. What more could you ask from a model? But like all models, Lua structures have limitations. And we see that when we're drawing the Lua structure for the O2 molecule. That's what, that's what you get. The nice thing is that it does predict the bond order as a double bond. And it also shows nicely both the oxygens achieving the octet. But it doesn't uh, predict the uh, biradical nature of the molecule, nor does it predict the magnetic properties of the molecule. So I've seen the O2 molecule drawn like this as well. Emphasizing the unpaired electrons, emphasizing the biradical nature of the molecule. By the way, free radicals, they have uh, unpaired electrons. You may have heard of free radicals in health. So they're often reactive molecules because of that unpaired electron. But you look at this structure on the right, it's like each atom, each of those oxygens, they don't, they have seven valence electrons. That's no good. So we need a new model. So we turn to molecular orbital theory or MO theory for short. This is taken from Kim Lee, braytex.org. Just copied it from there. Notice the purple arrows in the center. Don't worry about the other stuff. Those represent the electrons in the molecular orbitals, the molecule of the O2, the, uh, the O2 molecule. So I just want to point out that this theory does correctly predict the unpaired, the two unpaired electrons in the O2 molecule the biradical nature of the molecule also predicts that this is paramagnetic. Which means that there are unpaired electrons. And when you have unpaired electrons like that, um, and you put it into an inducing magnetic field, it will be attracted to that magnetic field. Whereas if you don't have any unpaired electrons, in other words, they're all paired up like that, then we call that diamagnetic. And in diamagnetism, uh, if you put that substance into an inducing magnetic field, it's actually going to slightly repel. Okay, but the magnetic properties are much less observable. All theories, models, have limitations, and, and we see that oxygen is one of the limitations when you're doing low structures.